Hello and welcome to another Joy's Killer Adobe After Effects 7.0 tutorial. Um, today I'm going to show you how to create cool looking lightsabers using adjustment layers. Okay, so first get into the project tab and import your footage or picture or whatever. Um, I've got a picture of Qui Gon here um, with our, his lightsaber effect added. This is basically behind the scenes on Star Wars. But you can use, obviously, you can use a video. But I'll show you how to animate the lightsaber later on. Okay, drag your footage or picture into the com new composition tab, and here we are. You can see Qui Gon nicely with his false lightsaber. Okay, we've got this. So just because this is just a picture, the frame is the same all the way through. So what you need to do now is right click here, new solid. We need to make it pure black and this needs to be called BG for background, make comp size OK drag to the back and now I'll create a new layer another solid but make this one pure white OK make comp size and call this one core then you want to turn the eye off here so you can't see any of the foreground layer and then we want to go up to here and select the mask tool, the, the pen mask tool, sorry. So click it and then we want to zoom in, go to the bottom of the lightsaber, select the mask uh, pen tool again, and you want to click the bottom corner, then the other bottom corner, then you want to go back up, and because Qui Gon's is off the screen, um, you just want to click at the top and then go back down to your first point and click it to complete the mask then if we put the footage back in position um, select the arrow tool again and click on the eye. Now we've got a white mask over the lightsaber, that's what we need. Now we need to start adding um, the blur effects to the core. So what we want to do is want to get rid of this Qui-Gon image for the minute and you want to go to new um, adjustment layer. Then go to effect, making sure the adjustment layer is selected, and blur and sharpen. You can either use Gaussian blur or fast blur. I tend to always use fast blur because it's quicker render, quicker rendering times, and you can barely notice the difference. So fast blur we'll use for this one. Then you want to repeat edge pixels and set the blurriness on this to let's just say 10. And as you can see, it's blurred it out. Then we want to go into the core, and we want to go to transform. Now forget that we don't need to do that. Okay. Now we've got this one as ten. Then we want to click on it, Control D, which will duplicate the layer, and then we go back up into the effect and put this one as twenty. Then we want to repeat this again, duplicate, and set this one to 40. And this one again, duplicate, and set it to 80. Oops. Okay. And as you can see, it's just like a white blob in nothingness. Let's just drag this on again. The adjustment layer is going to blur the image because it blurs everything below it. So, just get rid of that for a sec. And what you want to do is, because it's just a blur, blurring mass, you want to go to the top one, then hold shift, select the second from bottom one, then right click, blending mode, screen. And now we've got an effective lightsaber. Then just drag this back in. And you want to drag this to the top. So none of the adjustment layers affect the picture. Right click it, your footage or picture, go to blending mode, then screen. 
and now we can see the lightsaber through. Okay, you might be thinking it's looking a bit um, flat and we need some colour. Well, that's what we're going to do next. So, right click again, new adjustment layer. And you want to drag it below the footage. Then you want to go to effect, colour correction, and colour balance. Preserve luminosity. Then make it whatever colour you want it. And the cool thing about this is because the colour balance is affecting the blur around the lightsaber, it gives the effect that um, it's casting the blue light onto the subject, which is cool. But seeing as Qui Gon's got a green lightsaber, let's make it green, make it look more effective. That one looks pretty chunky, so let's turn that down a bit. It's like there. And there we go, we've got a Qui-Gon lightsaber. You can just mess around with all these uh, settings to get a cool colour you're looking for. So you can have a baby blue lightsaber or whatever. If you want a Mace Windu lightsaber, purple, you can put up the blue to 100, green down to 0, then you want to put the red up, and you want to go back up here, set this to 100, and put the red up once again.